Hey guys, Nui here, and uh, we're gonna be. This will be a new uh, tutorial video on my channel. Uh, this one, we will, I will be running through uh, the White Palace raid with my guild, uh, Despair NA, and uh, we're gonna go through all four of the bosses. Um, we will be doing this on easy mode because uh, this is our, as a guild, our first time coming through it, and uh, not everyone is up to up to. Uh, snuff with the actual mechanics of each and every one of the bosses so we were gonna i'm gonna but because i was already pretty much aware of it and already cleared everything i'm just gonna tell you guys how i how we went through this um and give you a few tips and tricks for if you guys want to run through it uh i did do this from a tank perspective so uh my viewpoint will be a little bit different than uh someone doing this as uh DPS or doing this as a healer, but um, I'll still be able to uh, really tell you guys uh, what to look out for and what to uh, deal with and uh, make sure you want to handle things. Um, as far as I know from this raid, you do not need a full 12 people to do it still anymore, but uh, 12 people can still help because it's just an increase in damage. It can still be it still can be a little bit of a challenging raid. The mechanics are still pretty, pretty uh, well thought out and well designed. So just there's just quite a few things to be aware of. But anyways, hopping into the first boss. Uh, the first boss is this courtyard where you will come up to uh, four bosses. Um, in three in hard mode, there's five bosses because they include the mage. But in normal mode, there's only four. There is the warrior, the scout, the healer, and the tank. Um, the way we did it, uh, I picked up the tank, we put a CC on the warrior, um, either Icy Storm or uh, Warden's Hurricane, I think. And we kept that uh, warrior CC'd for the duration of the fight so that he does not charge people because his charge does a large amount of damage. Um, you'll see, we'll CC, uh, I immediately pick up the tank and pull him over to this corner and then we CC the warrior somewhat near me but still away from the raid um and then what you guys are not going to see is that we are actually what they are doing right now is focusing down the healer so we killed the healer first uh after that we focused down the um scout and then we focused down the tank and lastly lastly we focused down the uh uh warrior himself now, things that you will probably want to bring, um, I would definitely suggest bring at least one full healer. You may need, you might be able to do it with support, depending on uh, runes and stuff. But I would definitely suggest just one full healer, and definitely a class that can CC, and definitely a class that can dispel. The healing, healing um, buff that the healer puts out on everyone every every other one of the bosses is can become somewhat difficult especially if people start to die or you guys don't cc the warrior and and this gets a little bit more hectic uh i would definitely just suggest having a support class someone that can just dispel that healing buff but as we continue this fight um i just stay in the keep myself in the corner keep the warrior aggro to me and also keep the tank aggro to me uh, what the tank does is he will put a spear on people, and it will be highlighted by that white bar right there. And uh, in this video, you won't hear it in this video because I'm talking, but um, what I'm doing in my raid is I tell people who it is targeted at that they're about to be hit by the spear. Uh, I do not believe what the sentence does can be dispelled, but uh, if the warrior is CC'd, you do not have to worry about the... Uh, the um spear itself as much so make sure you keep this warrior cc'd do not let anyone touch him just keep him cc'd and stay away and away from the fight uh at reaching this point we pretty much killed the majority of the bosses so i just decided to move the the uh paladin again to make sure that we had more space to get uh the rest of the bosses down so i repositioned and then we started to focus down the tank um, as I, as you can see, the buffs under him, he does have that heal buff. We do have a bard in party, so we were able to dispel it and then, uh, just DPS through it. But, as you can, it, it can still take quite a bit. They do have a large amount of health, and your gear, even though we're 
above level, it's still pretty close in levels. So these these bosses are not just gonna go down like with a tickle. It's still gonna take a little bit and still gonna be a little bit focused on mechanics and being aware. But uh, as a paladin, I didn't really it does it shouldn't really do too much damage to your tank itself though. Like I I wasn't really taking that much damage. Um, my barriers were pretty much empty the majority of the time. Um, though we did attempt to do this without CCing the warrior, where with that plan I would uh, hold aggro on both the warrior and the tank combined, and then they would try to DPS the other one. Uh, we found out that we it just wasn't a very good strategy because people were just not being able to avoid the uh, charge itself, and it was a little bit more hectic having to deal with the warrior charge and pally or er, the tank spear. So it's I I definitely once again I would just suggest bring someone who can CC this boss because it's it can be a quite a bit more hectic without so but once you just you just gotta keep focused keep uh DPSing each of the bosses down uh, in turn uh, again that's what the charge looks like uh, it can be a one shot so do be aware of that like it's it can absolutely be a one shot if you do not dodge the charge no defense buff nothing. You can pretty much still you can pretty much guarantee that somebody's going to die from that charge. Um, at this point, we I was picking up both of them at the same time. Uh, again, it really doesn't do too too much damage, but um, and I'm not really heavily geared with my pally at the moment because I've been playing Bard all all patch, all 8.1, so I hadn't really heavily geared. So it's not like I'm super over geared. It's just that my uh, it, this raid itself does not, this particular portion doesn't do a huge, huge amount of damage. Like, besides the charge. Um, even to me, though, the charge itself is not huge. I can just pretty much completely get rid of it. Uh, this is the other thing that you want to be aware of with the warrior is his cleave. Uh, it is a frontal cleave, so you can face it away from the raid, which I'm, I'm doing right now. I'm facing it towards the back of the wall. As you can see, the rest of my raid members are on the other back side of him. Um, so, that, but that's, that's pretty much all the warrior really does. He has the frontal cleave, he has that charge, which is marked by that red arrow that's coming towards you. Uh, once again, he will target whoever he's going to charge towards, so you can, they should have ample time to move out of the way. Um, but from what I've noticed, because I've done this raid in DPS spec, uh, you have to wait until he actually begins his charge to move, to properly avoid it. Um, because if you just start moving, he's still going to charge you anyways. So you have to wait till he really kind of sets up to get that charge out. Um, but other than that, yeah, just keep focusing him down. Uh, make sure you're dispelling that uh, that healing debuff as often as you can. I know that uh, bards can probably dispel it about once every three seconds, I believe, is our, our cooldown on our, uh, our uh, overture. In order to dispel it, I know you can also get the overture from uh, reincarnation skills, but I wouldn't really suggest it. It's kind of it's it needs it's something that needs to be dispelled pretty quickly. So even having it is not too helpful, even because because it's a one minute cooldown for a uh, reincarnation skill, and you need to be able to dispel it every like couple seconds. But as long as you're focused and stay on target, and people are avoiding the charge and uh, you're keeping your tank is keeping your uh, the cleave itself away from the rest of your raid. This should be a pretty easy boss to down, and um, you know you just shouldn't have too too much trouble. So, but uh, the next boss after this is a little bit more difficult. He's got way more mechanics, and he's he's definitely a uh, a bit of a raid wiper. Um, so. Uh, after, as soon as we down this, we'll be heading inside, and we'll check. I'll be explaining that one for you guys as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave any comments you want below. Any tips that you think, any tips that you think would help out anyone new trying out this raid. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy this series and keep, be sure to check it all out. I'll, I, we should do four parts. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get ready to head inside, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next video. Heaven sent my residence, it's heaven, just visit.